Welcome to Pro Kitchen Video Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to take about 10 minutes and we're going to create a complete kitchen. We just want to show off how quick and easy one can create a moderately sized kitchen inside of Pro Kitchen. So to get started, we're going to click on my Create New Design. Then I'm going to come over here and click on my File folder and enter that design name. And we're simply going to name it Design in 10 and Save. Now we can come up here and we can set up our customer dealer designer, yada, yada, yada. But that takes a little more time than just the 10 minutes. So we're simply going to catch a couple of these. We're going to do our moldings. We'll set our top molding and our toe kick. And then over to 3D, we're going to set our countertop and our wall covering and our flooring just gonna grab a hardwood for this that one looks good and we are all set here so we're just gonna hit OK now I can start setting my walls so I'm gonna come here from the bottom You'll notice as I build this wall, I've got a length over here, and this is a typable field. So I am simply going to click in it, hit delete, and enter the size that I want. In this case, 148 inches. Enter on my keyboard, type 124, enter, zero, enter, and we are done with walls. I do have a window I want to place, so I'm going to come over here and grab my window. I'm going to go to casement windows. We're going to scroll way down here to 48 inch high white frame casement windows. And here we can change the height of it. Really want it to be 42, and now I'm going to place it. I'm going to drop it on this wall, and I know I need 50 inches from the corner of the wall to the edge of my window. So I'm simply going to type in 50 and hit enter and come back here and hit cancel and there's my window, 32 inch window, 50 inches from the corner. Now before I start placing cabinets, I want to go up and set my global specifications. There's only a couple of them here in 6 square so it'll be easy and vanilla and there are all of my global set. So we're going to close that, and now we're going to come down here and start building our actual kitchen. I want to start with my base cabinet, so I'm going to click on base. I'm going to drop down to corner base. And Super Susan, and we'll take 36 there and drop it out here on the layout. And that's the only corner cabinet we need, so we can scroll back up and do standard base cabinets. I need a 12 incher here, need another 12 incher down here along the end of my design. I need a 15 incher here. Then I need a 33 incher over here, and I want to place my range in here. So I know I need 34 inches in there, so there it sets it. And now I need a sink base. So click on sink base, and we just want a standard one, and 36, and drag and drop it over here, and that is all of my base cabinets. So I want to scroll back up, close my base cabinet folder, and open my wall cabinet folder, and we're going to go to corner cabinets, 30 inch high. 2430 righty is just exactly what we need there. Standard wall cabinets, 30 inches tall. I need a 24 here. I need a 27 here. I need a 33 over this one, so I'm just going to drop it right there. I right click on it, I'm going to go to center. And then I'm going to click on the base cabinet, and it'll center that right over there for me. Now I need a base 30, a base 36. I need a wall 36 over here. 
it's going to line with the edge of my sync base and if I hit tab on my keyboard twice I can just enter 4 and return and that places that right there for me and now I have most of my wall cabinets placed I need two more wall cabinets we'll start with the 12 uh, 3312 for over my refrigerator and then we'll grab a 3015 for my microwave and we are set with all of our wall cabinets now I need a few appliances so we can come put those in I'm going to click on my appliance tab we we'll go to cooking and microwaves and over the range and we're going to do this in black so I'm going to grab the black one and place him and then ranges electric ranges I don't want to slide in or drop in so I'm going to scroll down here to the black ones and place him and now I need a refrigerator we'll do a top freezer and we will take this black one right here and place and finally I need a dishwasher so we'll take this black one right here and place him right there slide him over to the sink and now hit cancel and grab that base 12 and drag it over to the dishwasher and now all my appliances are set I need to put a sink and a faucet in my sink base so we're going to go to attributes sinks and faucets tab now I've got Kohler and the plumbing catalog our default catalog so we're just going to stay in our default catalog we're going to go faucets and you notice as we scroll through here shows us what they are so we're going to take that one add sink same thing to basin scroll down here till we find the one we like do this one add now I see I've got a sink and a faucet in here and okay and there's my sink and my faucet now let's take a look at our elevation so I'm going to click on my wall I'm going to come up here and click on elevation and you'll notice that my microwave has a little space above it there so I'm going to click on my microwave I'm going to grab this little green handle and I'm going to drag it up and it pops right into place now I want to take an elevation of my other wall so again highlight the wall click on the elevation button and here's my other one you do a little zoom in on that so everybody can see and you'll notice my sink or my window here is a little bit low so I'm simply going to click on it here and now I can attempt to set it. I know I want it at 12 inches but it's kind of hard getting it exactly 12 but you'll notice there's a cursor in our info panel so I'm just going to hit backspace 12 enter and there we have it now going to close out of that so my screen's a little bigger now we're ready for countertops and moldings and all that good stuff so there's two places you can so there's two ways that you can place countertop we can do it by our countertop button or we can go to our countertop designer now the buttons faster than the designer is so we're going to use that so we click countertop is blasted out there I'm going to come down and click on my backsplash to set in my backsplash and remember when we were in design settings we went in and we set some moldings so we're going to click on the molding button it's going to automatically place our crown and our toe kick for us now we have built our design let's take a 3d and see what it looks like and here's our beautiful 3d you can rotate it around just a little bit centered up and now once you're all done you can come up and generate your reports we have two reports a manufacturer report or a customer report manufacturer report is the one that has the manufacturer's order form in it and it's the one you send in to place an order customer report will generate real quickly has all these options in it you can add
here's our global specs and all of the items and the pricing now we didn't take the time to set up all of our countertop pricing and all of that stuff so none of that's in here we didn't add installation fees or anything this is just the basic pricing here and then from the manufacturer report if we had all of our information filled in in our dealer and customer tabs they would, would it would populate over here but we're doing a quick 10 minute design and we don't have the time to put all this information in here in a 10 minute design so here it is on the six square order form customer dealer information global information cabinets all of your cabinets finally your pricing and finally last but not least a beautiful high definition image of your kitchen design ready to send off to your customers. So this has been Pro Kitchen Design in 10 Minutes video tutorial. Thank you for watching.